Hello everyone, this is Hunter at Vapor Hunting Technologies. Today we're going to be discussing the disadvantages and advantages to soda in a wet blast process and letting you know and discussing when it may or may not be a good time to use it. So right here we have a couple parts um, that we're going to put into the machine with soda in it and we're going to show you guys what soda can do and its capabilities. We'll be back soon with the results. So this is the final result of what we got with this piece. As you can see, it did clean the softer surface buildup off, which is what soda is good for. It's just not going to give you an actual finish. Um, if you want an actual finish, it may suit you better to use maybe like a glass bead or aluminum oxide, ceramic, depending on what you're going after, because soda's not you know, as gritty or as much of an aggregate as any of those abrasives are. So it's not really going to clean as well and give you the surface finish as what those abrasives are. Um, and the example here is on the back. There was corrosion on this before, and you can see it didn't remove that. It's super stuck on. Soda's really good for just removing a lot of surface buildup, but also we see it commonly used with engine components. This is because a lot of people worry about the abrasives being in the engine components and then ruining the engine. You know, it's not really a concern with wet blast because it doesn't get packed or it doesn't sit in there if you wash it out, you know, really well but soda completely eliminates that factor because it's not an actual aggregate and it's dissolvable in water. Um, as far as using it in the machine, you just have to make sure that you're super saturating your water uh, with the soda because if you don't, it's gonna dissolve. So if you super saturate it, it's not going to dissolve and it won't have the chance to dissolve and it'll be just as effective. You know, there is disadvantages with not being able to use like a window rinse in the machine or maybe an internal rinse down nozzle because the soda goes everywhere the water goes. It's not as dense as an abrasive, so it's not gonna sink to the bottom of the cabinet. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 828-202-5563.